another letter from my friend Ollie. He said that he's hidden some clues about today's story in these cups and had to punch through them to find the clue. Should we start with the red one or the blue one? Let's do the red one. It's a snack. Snack time is my favorite time of the day. I like popcorn as a snack. What do you like? That's good too. Let's try another one. Should we do the green one or the yellow one? Let's do the yellow one. It's crayons. Crayons are so colorful, they're my favorite thing to draw with. Raise your hand if you like crayons. So many of you. Let's punch one more cup. Should we do the green one or the orange one? Orange it is. It's a teeny tiny slide. I get to go down a big slide when I go to the playground. We have snacks, crayons, and a teeny tiny slide. Hmm. I wonder what today's story's about. Ho! Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho! Ho! Found all of my clubhouse clues, did you? We did, Ollie. They're all super fun things. These things are fun, it's true. But did you know you can share them too? Just listen to this story. Follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today we have some very special cupcakes. Do you want to see? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I call these my sharing is sweet cupcakes because if you buy one, you get another one to share with someone else and that's sweet. <laughs> Our story today is all about sharing. 
If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is an important story that Jesus told. It begins with a farmer. This farmer grew a lot of good food, like a lot, a lot. Look, whoa, that's a lot of food, right? The farmer needed to put all the food into the barn. Can you tell me when the barn is full? Just yell, stop! Ready? Load it up. Okay, stop. The barn is full. Uh-oh, the barn is full, but there's still more food. What should he do with all the extra food? Hmm. The farmer had an idea. He would build a bigger barn. The farmer could fill it up and keep all the food for himself. It would be way more food than he needed, but he wanted to keep it all. The farmer could have shared and helped a lot of people. Jesus told this story to teach us that it is important to share what we have. What can you share with others? A toy, a snack, a turn on the swing? We can share all those things. That's the very important thing that Jesus teaches us with this story. God wants us to share. I'm so glad Jesus teaches us important things. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus teaches us to share. So that's what we should do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that was a lot of food. Jesus taught us to share and that it's really important. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I think we should open just one more cup for fun. Let's open the blue one. I'll see you next time. Bye! The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28.